All right, well, joining me now is Astrid Castellane, head of the UNHCR's office in Lesbos. Astrid, thanks uh, for joining us. How did conditions at this camp get so bad and why weren't they addressed? So we have continuously allocating as a unit chair to uh, decrease the overcrowding in Moria. It is indeed a camp who is uh, meant for 3,000 people, but is hosting, uh, as of today, was hosting 12,000. Um, we have now more than 5,000. And were the Greek authorities not listening to you? Uh, well, it's not uh, so easy to create as fast as possible uh, the, the reception facilities, but yes, indeed. And it is also um, the solidarity of the European member states, uh, who is important, and the continuous uh, financial but also in-kind support. We are welcoming the recent relocation of unaccompanied minors, but we have also advocated for relocation of uh, families and especially improved reception capacity on the mainland for both asylum seekers and refugees. So as of today... So the European are... Union has to work together on this, obviously. It's, it's not just a Greek problem. The EU has to work together. But where is the system going wrong? I mean, obviously, these overcrowded centres are not the answer. What is? Well, it is uh, alleviating the pressure by transferring those who are authorized to transfer to, to travel to the mainland, to have also improved living conditions for those who have to wait for their asylum procedure to be processed, uh, to have uh, to re resume the readmissions to Turkey, which have been uh, put on hold since the first of March, uh, and it is also the the solidarity among member, member states and in order to have a fair share of the responsibility but also the yes the the, the burden and uh, yes the responsibility to not to have all the right so you <laughs> <laughs> right, I understand that solidarity, EU solidarity. You've now got some 13,000 people needing accommodation. Where, where are they going to go? So we have now we are processing the relocation of 400 minors to the mainland, meaning the transfer. Uh, we are also planning uh, for the persons at risk of COVID to be transferred to the Karatepe um, site, which is run by the municipality. And the, the Greek army has also identified two sites where potentially uh, 1,000 people will be hosted temporarily. Um, so these are the immediate solutions. And the Greek state continues to look at uh, the options, including indeed a vessel that is announced to arrive tomorrow, another, uh, I mean, a boat, a ferry, and then also army vessels. Okay, Astrid, thanks so much. Astrid Castellane, the head of the UNHCR's office in Lesbos.